Oh my gosh! Wow, that almost pulled the rod out of my hand. What is happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. It is me out here. This spot might look a little familiar because it's with. What up? What up? Randizzle. We are at the infamous pike spot. Hopefully, we can get on some bass first. I'm throwing the old. Oh, somebody's already been here. I'm throwing the old Tekel Sprinker Frog, but somebody has already cleared this area out this morning. Dang it. Yes, fish. Oh, got one. Oh. Had a pad giant. Pad donkey. Randizzle starting with the Hamler Dalbert. I'm gonna try popping the old, popping the old Tekel Sprinker over this scum. The only thing I don't like about the old Toad Runner and, and Sprinker is if you get just a little bit of muck on that back spinny part, it doesn't seem to, sprink or toad run very much i got the see i'm not how sure i feel about the old chartreuse tail to be honest did you spike it or that's how it came no that's how they come this is the if you haven't seen the old sprinker in action it's just got a little boot tail it's different than the toad runner the toad runner has a wire so you can change the angle of the tail on back this doesn't it's just a flat like swim bait paddle tail with a little screw lock there so I don't know, I'm not real sure how I feel about the, the different color tail. All the toad runners, it's all just kind of a clear tail. The uh, the sprinklers come with different color tails and you can get different replacements and change those out as you wish. Thought I was on the edge. <laughs> Thought I was on the edge. Oh, Randizzle had a blow up. I heard it back there. He delayed on it too. It's pretty thick over there though. Here's a question. When you take a fish out of water, the water doesn't stick to it. So are fish really actually wet? <laughs> oh. Son of a biscuit. No leader. I don't have any gloves or net. Did you bring your net? How did you not bring your net? Did you see that net? It no. It's tiny. See, I don't know if this chartreuse tail is just like throwing them off. They're like, oh, hey, wait a minute. Why does that frog have a bright chartreuse green butt? It's radioactive, radioactive. I basically, if I ever want to quit work, I could become a singer. Tackling, tackling and sprinkling. What are these fishies thinking? Oh my gosh! Wow, that almost pulled the rod out of my hand. That's gotta be a pike. Can we get the gloves? Grab the gloves! Grab the gloves and the net! It's a big one, boy! Come on! Almost yanked the rod out of my hand. Oh, this is what you go with. Big, thick braid. I'm throwing this on my... 7.5 flipping rod, this is a beast, look at this. People say, oh my gosh, what is this? People say that, oh, this is so much braid. This, this is why you fish. A heavy rod oh, and 65 pound braid. I'm a, I'm a stout dude, I'm 200 pounds. Oh, this is heavy, oh, there's no movement. I might have lost him. Oh, he's still on there. He is still on there. That's a big fish. Looks big anyway. Ugh. All right. We're just going to pull him off the side of the dock here. Oh, all right. Okay, definitely not as big as I thought. He looked a whole lot bigger. Ooh, that's not a small pike. Easy pike. Easy pike. All right, look at the teeth on this brute. You want to get a picture of me with it? I have a towel as well. Oh my gosh. That thing hammered it. Got it? There are like four of them. Okay. All right, Mr. Pike. Huh? He's got a belly on him. This one. This one's a big one. That was a good sized pike. All right, let's let this guy go. Get him revived in the S motion. These bigger fish take just a little bit to get revived. He is a big fella. I am recording. All right. Come on, big guy. There he goes. Still trying to figure out what, whoa. 
he gone. <laughs> All right, that was a pike landed on the sprinker with no, no steel leader end is we got it. We did it right this time. Whew, look at, and look, look what it did to the frog. I tell you all so many times how important that is to have a frog that turns over like that so you get a good hook set, good penetration, and no body in the way. There's, uh, there's scattered grass that goes out here amongst all those as well. So those pike are just cruising around through. Oh, yes, Randy on one. Yeah, all right. And, and what happens? Nailed it. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. He was watching me sprink over here. Ah, I'm hooked on a pad. Ah. It's a bass, yes, right? It it's a bass, I think. It is a bass. That's a decent bass. I thought it was a pike at first. Oh, probably two pounder. Oh yeah, he's feisty. A little two pounder for Randizzle. <laughs> Look at now you're coming in slime, guy. Randizzle with the first one. We're going opposite angle here. What do you think, Randizzle? Yeah. Let this little man go. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was sweet. Yeah, real sweet. Sprink, sprink, sprink. What's up, bro? You fish much? <laughs> Never. People, you know, one of the first things they say is, well, how far does that cast? How, how far can you bomb it? But I'm telling you, new anglers focus on accuracy. Any of the pros will tell you that accuracy over distance is hands down 10 to 1 more important. So, you know, when you're starting out, just focus on staring at that target, you know, not losing track of where you're trying to hit and really focus on being accurate. Uh oh, there's more stuff going on. What up, geese? Come on, Pike. Come up through the muck. Come up through the muck and hit the old frog. He was right about here. Oh, got him. Oh. That was a wimpy hook set. I was nowhere ready for that. And I was I was calling it out. Is that a bass? Gosh, I don't know. I thought it was Golly, I was calling it out, and that was like the wimpiest hook set ever. Hey Debo, why don't you hit the gym, bro? I don't know if that was 100 percent my fault. There's so much cheese and stuff over here. I don't know if Oh <laughs> he tried it. Randy, get in there. Okay, let's see if Randy's looking get it right over that little hole. Missed it? You didn't see that? No, I was watching on my phone. <laughs> he shot it straight up into the air. Oh, no. It went like a foot up in the air. I'll be interested to see how this works with a steel leader. How hard it'll be to keep it up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, uh, the grass, grass burner doesn't float anymore. I don't even know if this is going to work. Right on the edge. Yep, that's where that one hit me. I was speeding up right on the edge, and he hit it. Oh, we got another one. Get it? Yep. He got it. All right, Randizzle. Oh. oh, no. The heartache. He lost it. That looked like a decent fish. Yo, there we go. Wasn't watching. I was looking below me. Oh, my gosh. Was not ready. See, you go. You cannot pay attention. If you want to get bit on top water, you cannot pay attention. I think that was a pike. Yeah, it's a little snake. Come on here, you little snake. Come on. On the grass burner, steel leader, what? Not so tough now, are you? I'm just teasing. I love these things. I tell you what, after that first time we were up here, I kind of got some uh, some pike and musky fever. Now these little ones are the ones that scare me. They're the ones that'll give you a, a free hand piercing. All right, there we go. Pike numero dos on the morning for me. This is a little fella, but we still want to get him back in nice and safe. I enjoy all the fish that I catch. And whenever I can, I like to let him go nice and gently like this. Sometimes you got a little bit of slime. Look at this guy. There he goes. Watch him. Look, he's going to see me up here like, oh, the man. It's that big man, mama. It's that big man. He's going to get... <laughs> Told you. Oh, that baby held strong. I was wondering how well this was going to cast and hold, like keeping it above the water. Of course, it doesn't float with the steel leader on, but nice, big, heavy-duty snaps. If you all use snaps... Use these ones like this that actually hook over. I will tell you, I've used the ones that just kind of stick in the side of the thing where you push your finger. And you give those babies a tug and they are popping out. With these, any sort of pulling this way, it's got that little hook here to hold it on. You see that? Little hook keeps it on there. So I would urge you, if you get uh, 
snaps to get some like that and there might even be better ones out there this is just what i've used in the past but this is a 30 35 pound liter it's not very uh, thick kind of a little thing but a good heavy duty snap that held great <laughs> you can't intentionally do it it has to be legit well watching you run does all we can tell that your intentions are not pure seriously i thought we'd get man i thought we we're gonna get quite a few this morning time in this open spot See, you like looking at my behind, bro? Get him? Oh! All right, I'm gonna try going down this thing. Randizzle says this is the sauce. See, why is my thing gonna be any different than yours? You get the sprinkler. The thing is, once you get a little muck on it, it doesn't really sprink or tackle. Or it will. Yo, Randizzle called. Did I lose him? Oh no, I thought I lost him. Randizzle called it. Randizzle's calling shots. Hi, my name Randizzle. I got a little crystal ball. Come on, boy. Come on, Pike. On the sprinker. Oh, Rod's holding strong. Reel's holding strong. Smacked on him. Oh, he's got a little, a little cut on him. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm trying to get. Oh, about fell in. Not gonna lie. Now I'm stuck on the tree. Why? Why do these things happen to me? I'm stuck on the tree. Pike's trying to rip that out of my hand. Okay. Whew. All right. Got him again. Got him. Randizzle called it. I completely owe that one. That guy. Gosh, these things are just balls of fury. And they're so hard to hold on to. They're so slimy. So slimy. He doesn't want to open his mouth. Open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. All right, there we go. Yo, held him. Come on. You can't break that Debo grip. You did last time. I've learned my lesson. You got to kind of horse these things. You can't be real delicate with them. They're pretty sturdy little fellas. Look at that guy. He's been attacked by something. Yo, something totally gnarled up his back. These guys are fierce. All right. Come here. Oh, he gone. There he goes. Now watch. Scooting along. Mama. Mama, there comes that big man. He gone. Finally, we got some action. Randizzle, I, I have to totally 110% tip my hat to Randizzle. It's like he had a crystal ball. He called it, literally. Debo, come over here and throw. Two casts and you'll have a fish. First cast, caught that fish. Randizzle's the man. Randizzle, can I have your autograph? Did I ever tell you all about the time Randizzle hooked me in the leg with a hook?